Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about the sequence. So at the first, I will start what is the meaning of the sequence. Sequence is a pattern, follow the rule. I will just give you the rule and I need you to complete the pattern. And the term is each number in the numerical pattern. As we talked before, we have a numerical pattern and non-numerical pattern. So each number in the numerical pattern is called term. So you can find that in question number one. We need to extend each pattern of the following. Now the rule that we have that we add 7. So in each time I will add 7. The pattern starts with 8. So by adding 7 the answer will be equals 15. By adding one more 7 it will be equals to 22. By adding 7 it will be equals 29. If you add 7 it will be equal to 36. And that's how we can find the pattern. Now the pattern that we have we need to subtract 10. From each term that starts with 90 I need to subtract 10. By subtracting 10, it will be equals 80. If I need to subtract 10, it will be equals to 7. So I will follow the given rule that we have. In each time, I will subtract. By subtracting 10, it will be equals to 6. By subtracting 10, it will be equals to 5. Now number 3, we need to add 9. By adding 9, just we add 9 to the first term that we have. The first term, which is 7. If you need to add 9, it will be equals to 60. By adding 9, it will be equals to 25. Adding one more 9, it will be equals to 34. Adding 9, it will be equals to 43. If we need to add 12, then we we'll start with 2. By adding 12, it will be equals to 14. If you add one more 12, it will be equals to 26. By adding 12, it will be equals to 38. If you add one more 12, it will be equals to 50. But in question number 5, we need to subtract 9. So if you subtract 9 now, the answer will be equal to 78. If you subtract 9, it will be equal to 69. By subtracting 9, it will be equal to 60. If you subtract 9, it will be equal to 51. Now in question number 6, we need to subtract 5. By subtracting 5 from each number, just 86 minus 5, it will be equal to 81. Minus 5, it will be equal to Minus 5, it will be equal to 76. Minus 5, it will be equal to 71. Minus 5, it will be equal to 66. In question number 7, we need to multiply by 3. At the first, I will start with 2, the first number here that we have. The first term is 2. If you multiply it by 3, the answer will be equal to 6. 6 multiplied by 3 equals to 18. 18 multiplied by 3 equals to 54. 54 times 3 equals to 162. So in each time, I will just multiply by 3. We have here 54. If you just need to multiply it by 3, 3 times 4 equals to 12. 2 and carry up 1. 3 times 5 equals 15, plus 1 equals to 16. And that's how we can find 162. Now we need to multiply by 4. I will start with 5. 5 times 4 equals to 20. By multiplying by 4, just we put 0, then 4 times 2 equals 8. Then I will put 0. 4 times 8 equals to 32. Then we will put 0. 4 times 32. 4 times 2 equals 8. And 4 times 3 equals to 12. So the answer will be equals 1208. Now we need to divide by 2. 64, if you divide it by 2, you'll find that the answer will be equal 32. Because I will start from the left. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Again, 32 divided by 2, the answer will be equals to 60. If you can divide by this way, you can use a long division to divide. 16 divided by 2. The number that you multiplied by 2, it will be equals to 16, which is 8. 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Again, for 625 divided by 5. By using the long division, so 625, if I need to divide it by 5. 6 divided by 5. The closed number will be 1 multiplied by 5 equals 5. So we just write 1 up and 5 down. Now by subtract. 6 minus 5 equals 1. Bring down 2. So 12. 12 divided by 5 equals 2. Because 2 times 5 equals to 10. Now we will write 2 up and 10 down. Once you have two numbers under each other, subtract them. 12 minus 10 equals 2. 
then bring down the next number which is 5. So 25 divided by 5 you will find that will be equals 5. Because 5 times 5 equals to 25. So we just write 5 up and 25 down. So by subtract will be equals you. You will find that the next term now will be 125. Again I will divide 125 by 5 by using long division. You will find that the answer will be equals 25. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. And 5 divided by 5 equals 1. And that's how we can complete the sequence if we know the first term and the root.